Hi, first graders. It's me, Mr. Christian, here to show you and explain to you what we are going to be doing for writing today. But before we start our writing, we have to make sure that we have our materials for writing. So please make sure that you have a sheet of paper, a pencil, an eraser, and colored pencils or crayons if you have any available. Once you have those materials, then we are going to be good to go to start our writing prompt. So today, we will be writing about what we are thankful for. Now, the word thankful means that we are happy to have someone or something in our life. And here I provided some examples of what you can be thankful for. You could be thankful for a family member or family members. They could be parents, guardians, siblings, or cousins, or aunts and uncles, grandparents as well. Friends is also something that you can be thankful for. Having pets, cell phones. You could be thankful for cell phones because they help you help you call people that live far away so you'll, able, you'll be able to talk to them. You can be thankful for TikTok and YouTube because they're fun apps that you can use to watch videos or record videos. You can be thankful for books because some books help you learn, some books teach you how to do things like cooking books. Or you can be thankful for school because school is a place uh, that you can go and learn different things and be a place to also spend time with with your friends at school. So being you can pick one of these examples, or if you have any other ideas that we can be thankful for, then keep that idea with you because we're going to use that for our writing. So once you have that idea on your sheet of paper, we're going to start off with the sentence, I am thankful for. And after you write, I am thankful for, you're going to put that thing that you are thankful for. It can be right a person. It could be a pet, whatever you are thankful for. After you write what you're thankful for, you're going to add three or more reasons why you're thankful for that thing. And some tips to remember when writing, make sure that you have capital letters with the words that are supposed to be capitalized. Make sure you put spaces between your words and make sure that your punctuation is supposed to be where it is. That means your periods, your commas, your exclamation points are in the right place. Here are the instructions for our Spanish families. Para nuestras familias de, de español, aquí están las instrucciones. I'm going to show you an example of what I wrote of what I'm thankful for. So here's my page. I put my name at the top. Today's date, and I have my picture here, but I'm first going to read you what I wrote, because you always want to start writing before you do your drawing, so you have an idea of what you're going to write about. So I'll read to you what I wrote. I am thankful for my niece, Athena, because my first reason, she is nice. My second reason, she tells funny jokes. And my third reason, she plays video games with me. Our first graders, you don't have to add these numbers. I just added these to show you that I did three reasons why I'm thankful for this, this person, Athena. And I also put here, we're supposed to be starting our, our prompt with, which is I am thankful for. So you can do it this way on your sheet. 
you can write at the bottom and have your picture at the top. Or you can do the writing at the top with your picture at the bottom. All right, first grade, hopefully you'll be able to write something that you're really thankful for. We are excited to read and see your awesome pictures about what you're thankful for.